All right, guys, as you guys can see here, this is for my stand. So I'm going to put in the picture the diagram of my tank and stand. I don't know how well it's going to come out, but here's what it's going to look like. There's really no instructions on how to put it together, but we'll figure that out. There's only so many parts. So, um, as you guys can see, 9,000 pounds upper capacity. So, there you go. Leveling uh, feet. Capacity is 1,200 pounds per foot. So, this thing is built like a tank. Right there is from Framing Tech. So, thought I'd let you guys, um, there's the address and everything you need to know. If you guys are interested, tell them I sent you. But, uh, yeah. There you guys have it. So, that's it. So, this is where the tank's going to sit on. Actually, I'm going to build from backwards, upside down, this whole system. So, I'm going to get to it and let you guys watch as I um, put it together. It will probably be all in uh, fast pace mode. So, if not, it will probably be forever. So, let's get to it. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh.
right, guys. Just finished the tank build, as you guys probably seen. This thing is massive. I just got done finished painting the wall. I'm gonna put plywood on here. What do you guys think? Should I um, apply Kills paint to this? I did buy some. This is the styrofoam, the pink stuff for the tank. I need your guys' uh, suggestions on should I seal this plywood or do you think, do you think it even matters? Um, that's pretty much where I'm at with it. As you guys can see, I, it took a little bit of time. You know, with the uh, diagram that you get from them, it's your design, but at the same time, you need to pay attention. You know, it's like reading blueprints. You need to pay attention to each piece and what it says. You Meaning, you might think that each one of these pieces are the same, but they're not. It might be a quarter inch off or something. Like these four here ends, this bottom brace here, are 30 inches while this one is what, like 29 inches or something. 29 and whatever. Uh, 29.047 inches. And these outer ones are 29.93 inches. It does make a difference. At first I thought I was short. Uh, instead of being a full eight feet. Well, in a rush, this ain't like your typical, here's part one, part two, part three. No, it's number how many parts of such thing. But you need to, with dealing with framing tech, you need to pay attention to each one of these numbers, meaning your measurements. So you know what goes what. So once I realized I was, rushing and whatever I made my corrections and whatnot so here's where the tanks gonna go this is what we're looking at as you can see I have approximately uh, if I have my tape measure uh, let me grab it real quick so how much room I have to walk around this is 33 and a half 33 and a half inches so just over, you know, over a little over two, two and a half feet. So that's plenty of room for me to walk freely, be able to look down this massive beast. I mean, this thing is humongous, humongous. It, it, you know, camera's not gonna do any justice. Visually, I knew I made this mock-up with two by fours, yeah. But actually seeing the stand here in place, seeing the wood on, the styrofoam up against this wall, I'm like, wow. So, the tank's 27 inches. So, the tank will come about right here. Same as that tank, 27. So, it'll sit 27 here, and then canopy. So, the canopy on this is going to come here bend around and go all the way across this wall. So I'm gonna have to build that. Not sure how I'm gonna do it yet, but that's what I have to do and that's what I'm gonna do. Also, this tank has an external overflow. It's custom built external, uh, comes with a custom built tank. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna cut this out. Cut wherever the box comes to, cut it out, and shove the box through, we'll see how, how well that works. I have approximately, from the wall, the way the wall is and, and the feet, I have about an inch, inch and, inch and a quarter from, you know, here. So the tank's gonna sit there so that's an inch and a quarter. I don't remember exactly how deep the box is. Uh, I'm gonna say it's about six inches deep, not sure. Enough to be able to get your hands in there and work if you need to. Um, plus the wall, three quarter inch, you know, whatever, drywall. Should be okay. I'm hoping everything works out the way I expect it to. I don't wanna take up any more space that way. I need to be able to get my couch and whatever. I got 33. 
I need to be able to get couch or whatever I want over here. Uh, anything that needs to come out of here, I need this space. This is just shy of what a refrigerator can go through. Uh, a regular size refrigerator. Countertop is a little different. Uh, counter depth, should I say. So that's pretty much it. I don't know. Um, I do want to know what you guys think I should do. Should I put kills paint on this wood and let it cure? Put a good paint kit, uh, kills on it. Um, you guys let me know. Honestly, I, I'm at this point, I'm tired. Um, as you guys can see through the video, um, it was fun putting it together. It was fun watching it come to life. Um, it's a massive, it's massive. So uh, just so you guys understand, the, the stand is supposed to be 30 inches tall. These are adjustable feet, so I probably can get a little bit out of it. So right now I'm measuring at 32. So 32, that is 36. I probably can go 33 all the way around. Not three, you know, that's three inches. So, you know, there's a little bit of height difference between these two. Those, that has adjustable feet as well. But, uh, yeah, so right now, the way it is, it's at 32. I have not made any adjustments. I have not leveled it out. I haven't done any of that yet. Um, I still got to do a little bit of silicone trim work with some silicone, silicone door window trim, the whole nine yards. But, uh, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this update of the tank build. If you guys have any questions, please Please, 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 don't hesitate. I'm doing this for you guys. Um, I expect lots of questions, and I will be answering, or Miss Rico will be answering. So a lot of times she doesn't answer him because I don't like to text or anything. So she asked me, she goes ahead and does it. Um, it's very important for me to get your guys' opinion on each and everything. So I want to continue to document each and everything. If I got a question, I'm going to ask you guys and because um, I, I want your guys' opinion. So, kills paint. Should I put kills? Should I paint the uh, wood? Or should I leave it for for this? So, you guys let me out. Also, what do you think, man? L look at this uh, stand. Do you think I should leave it open? Or should I close the stand off? I'm just kind of curious about that. This is really slick. I mean, this stand looks pretty dope without even being skinned. Um, I don't know. That's kind of where I'm at. I was thinking about leaving it that way, taking this trim here, right here, using this to put off a, a crown molding piece here, and then butt it up against the glass flush to give me a little bit of lip. I don't know how, how sturdy it'd be, but hey, um, I can do that. I think I can do it pretty good. Not 100% sure, but give me enough. We're not gonna be putting anything heavy on it, but that's kind of what I was thinking and leave this all open. So you guys let me know. Also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to this channel, make sure you, you subscribe and hit the uh, little bell. So any updates that I put out, you're going to be notified. This is built. It's going to be epic, man. So with that being said, guys, this is Rico of Rico's Aquarium. Until next time, peace.